So how did I get this incredibly cheap $127 MacBook Pro in perfect condition? Let me show you. Welcome back to the channel. So if you've watched my channel before, you know I do a lot of reviews of older equipment. I did a 2014, I think, MacBook Air right here. You can see it right there. Got it for like 185 bucks, incredible deal. I also did a 2013, I think, iMac with an SSD. I got it for like 168 bucks, worked perfect. And then started my channel a long time ago. I'll show you pictures up here, but I have a 2011 iMac back there and I bought a couple of those old ones just showing people that they were still viable a couple years ago. So I love buying old equipment. And what do I have here? I have a new $127 MacBook Pro that's in pristine condition, all right? Now this is gonna be a 2014, all right? It can, load, it can actually load big, up to Big Sur. It actually is still getting security updates and it works flawlessly and it is pretty much flawless. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. So let me show you not only the condition of this thing, but also how I pick these things up for so cheap. And I have a system of doing it. So if you wanna learn that system, stay tuned. It's a way to get these things on the cheap and uh, there's a couple little secrets you gotta do. So while it's in perfect condition, there's just one little minor thing wrong with it and that's how I get it. And let me show you what that is. All right, to begin with though, what is this thing? What is this, and I'm gonna show you close-ups as I'm talking, but what did I buy here? It's a 2014 MacBook Pro, 2.6 gigahertz, 256 gigs of RAM, or 256 gigs of SSD, eight gigs of RAM. Sorry, it's a mouthful. Resolution, it's, it's Retina, it's 2560 by 1600, an incredible screen. Again, I'll show you close-ups, but I mean, just, just this thing in general is just beautiful. Look at that thing. So overall, you can't complain with the screen and everything else. So it's just a perfect system, a little bit older again. Now, this is not going to be for everyone. I'll tell you that right off the bat. I'm not recommending getting this over an M1 or something. But if you're a person that's looking to pick up something for 127 bucks, you can't beat this because it's better than Chromebooks out there. It's better than anything you can buy for that cost. And it's the construction, the keyboard, everything combined. So it's just really good quality. Oh yeah, and it also came with a brand new charger still in the package. It wasn't an Apple branded one, but it works fine. So it came with that as well for 127 bucks. So now the listing that I bought said grade D, all right? So what gives? Grade D, you know, that's pretty low, right? A, B, C, D. D is not the best. So when I looked at this thing and you can look at it, I figured, well, there's gotta be something wrong with it. And I was kind of looking her over. So you look at pictures and stuff. So what, what could it be that's causing this? So the top of it, and I'll show you close-ups, the top of it, does it all, is it all scratched up? No, it's perfect. Look at this thing. It's perfect condition, all right? Maybe the bottom's all dented and scratched, isn't it? No, it looks good to me, right? It looks perfect condition. Everything in there is perfect. So overall, I, I just can't complain with the system. Now, what about the keyboard? The keyboard, maybe it has smashed keys or the keys aren't working or it has keycaps that are kind of faded or the light doesn't work. No, it's perfect. Look at the keyboard. Beautiful keyboard, easy to type on. It's actually before the issue with the, the terrible keyboard issue. It's before that. So it's one of the good, you know, magic keyboards, I guess, from the past. So it works really well, right? Well, maybe the ports, are the, maybe they're all mashed up and everything. And I took a look at that. No, the ports are in perfect condition as well. Look at them. I mean, they're, they're, a lot of times you'll see them dented or they'll have tons of debris in them. This has a little bit in there. It's a I mean, really old computer, obviously. But they're still, from what I'm seeing, in very, very good condition. So it's got to be the screen, right? The screen's got to have major blemishes. No. I mean, take a look at this screen again. Screen is, you know, I gave you the resolution, but it's just perfect. The colors are very bright and vibrant. There's no uh, pluming or anything like that around the screen. There's no laminate coming off of it, which is unusual. There's a couple little teeny scratches on it, and you can't see them at all when the screen's on. And I knew about that going in. I'll get into that in a second. So it's not the screen either. So what in the world does it not work? No, it works fine. It, I just upgraded it to Big Sur, and everything's just moving very quick, and it just works as a great computer. So what's giving here? Why in the world... Is this, you know, why can I get this for so cheap? That's what I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna show you now where I got it from, kind of the system that I use, and then I'll at the, kind of wrap it up at the end, but I'm just gonna show you what the key one thing is that you search for to get them these, you know, get these systems this cheap. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not the battery either. It's only got 210 cycles, so the battery is in perfect condition too. All right, so if you look at my screen over here, this is a normal listing, and I just wanna to prove to you. Here's 289, this is a 14-inch MacBook Pro, same basic model over here. So they sell for like 280, 250, 300, and this is 127 bucks. So I just wanted to show you, this is a normal listing on eBay. Now the company that I use, and I'm not affiliated with this company, I should be, because every time I say this company, they, get, they sell out. So when you go in here, they might be sold out, 
and then whatever. I try to reach them and say, can you give me some kind of a you know deal or something? And they won't do it. They won't even respond to me. So, but I, I like them. I I think I bought five systems from them. So what you want to do here is you go into Google, just type in I sell iMac up here and search. So I sell iMac all combined and then search. You're going to see this listing. It's an eBay store right here. I sell iMac and you want to click on that. All right. It's going to say eBay stores. So inside of here. Let me just see what's going on here. You can scroll down, but look look at this. I'm just going to go to the bottom. You can see that there's hundreds of systems, up to 10 pages or more. There's tons of different old systems in here you can purchase if you like this kind of stuff. Again, they're not M1s, but there are some M1s in here, but the one I'm showing you is not, obviously. All right, so I'm going to click on this listing, view all details right here, and it's going to bring up the listing. So this is a completely different computer than this one, so just hold on a second. But in here it says grade D. See it right here? It's going to say 2007, or 2017 MacBook Pro, 317 bucks, but a grade D. So, but the beauty of this site is this. You can go over here and you can click on these pictures. And if I click on any of these pictures and open them up, I can see that there's a blemish there, a blemish there. I can go and look at the screen to see if there's lamination. There looks like there's no lamination on the screen here. So the beauty of this is the fact that I can look at the exact unit that I'm going to be getting instead of a million different units that, you know, they sample units. A lot of these companies on eBay, they'll just show a picture of a MacBook. They won't show you the exact one. In here I can see exactly you know, the exact scratches on it, if it has any scratches whatsoever. This one looks in pretty good condition, but it's a, it's a grade D, so there's probably something else wrong with it, right? But anyways, if I scroll down to the bottom, this is the beauty of this site. This is not what I'm talking about overall, but you can see in here, it lists the specs over here. It lists a lot of times the battery cycles, uh, 174, so it's got low battery cycles. But down here it tells you, Cosmetic grade, it tells you that severe ding, you know, a couple little dings, I guess, some marks on the screen display assembly, medium. So you can see that this is all that it has wrong with it. And over here it says it passed a 64 point check and there's nothing else wrong with it. So you know you're getting, it's a grade D, you saw how nice it looked. So that's not the secret though, that's actually a pretty good one, but at least you know what you're getting, right? But the key to getting them even cheaper than this is what I did. So here's my listing and I looked at it when I got it for 127 bucks and here's some pictures let me go ahead and show you this. Let me just close some of the stuff down here. You can see the pictures in here. Here's one picture. So I was looking at it closely and uh, even the screen here had a couple little scratches on it. You can see it right there. So I knew that there was going to be a couple of those scratches, but I can't make those out. And then I clicked down over here and I could see, look at the inside of it was perfect condition. So I knew what I was getting into. But the listing that I always look for is look over here. So it says Apple 13 inch MacBook Pro 2014. It says right here, grade D, not working for parts and stuff. Well, this company's good with this kind of stuff, right? It tells you exactly the issues you're having. So long story short, I went through all that and then I saw in here it says microphone non-functional, right? Poor cosmetic condition. So they have to mark it as that. If it, the microphone's not doing well, they mark it as a grade D and then it tells you that that's wrong with it. So I looked at this, I scrolled down to the bottom, let me get in here, I kind of scrolled down, let me go to the next screen here. And um, let me just get in there. So this is the bottom of the grade. So I went down over here, battery listing was 210 cycles, I like that as well. Cosmetic grade right here, it tells you exactly what's wrong with it and I was fine with it. I saw what it looked like and it had very, very little blemishes for what they're saying, but they still called it a grade D. Over here is the issue, it says non-functional, but it says sold as is for parts, but then it lists all the problems usually right here. And the only problem it listed was built-in microphone is non-functional. So out of this entire system over here, the, the microphone was not functional and that's the whole reason for it selling for so cheap, right? Now I can plug in a microphone into either USB-C or I can plug it into the headphone jack and it will work just fine. It's just that the internal microphone that's on the system isn't working correctly. All the other ports are, everything else is, if something wasn't loading or the CPU was not working, it would be listed in this listing. All I find is, I find systems like this where if it's a port that I'm never going to use, it could be like a USB, old USB port or old Thunderbolt port, but it has other ports, or maybe a card reader and I can plug in a dongle. If I can get it for half the cost, that's what I look for. As long as everything else is functional, I'll buy it. That's what I did here. So I went ahead and I bought it, bought it back, and everything's perfect on this system, except, like I said, the microphone port, and that's the key to getting this for so cheap. All right, so now if you're interested in learning more about this, I'm going to have a video in about a week or so. I'm going to showcase the performance of this system. Again, it's up to Big Sur as far as the OS. It can do, I think, video editing. It's going to, you know, it's very snappy. I'm going to show you all that stuff. It might not be my next video, but subscribe if you can. I'm going to do it maybe in a video or two later. This thing is pretty incredible. Again, the typing experience is awesome. 
Everything about this is perfect condition except for that microphone port, and I'm gonna to prove to you that this thing is really good as far as performance. And I'm gonna actually test it against an M1 you know, MacBook Air over there just to show you some differences and stuff. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm gonna maybe do one or two tests against that system. I'm not recommending you get systems like this, but if you're like me and you like to dabble in these old stuff and you know, you know what to do, you can even make this into a Linux box or something later, these are great systems to pick up. You can't get screens like this for this cost. And at the end of the day, my little secret is you find that little bad port and you gotta search those listings, but everything else is pristine. They gotta just drop that cost by a ton because they don't wanna fix it, and that's the one you get because I'll never use that port anyway, but everything else is perfect, and this is great for a travel laptop, and I hope it helps everybody out there. We'll talk to everybody soon. Please subscribe if you can help me out. We'll talk to you in the near future here. Peace.